Hey friends, today we're going to give you a look at what a drive through haunted attraction is like here in Orlando. We are all upset that Halloween Horror Nights has been canceled, so there's many more haunted attractions in the local area. And we're here at Boggy Creek, and we're going to be checking out the Scream and Stream drive through haunted attraction now this doesn't officially open until september 25th but we were invited out to get a sneak peek of what it's like or what it's going to be like because there's a lot of questions and we need to find out so let's go do this coming this fall to central florida On a drive through experience set deep in the woods. Do you dare take the drive? Scream and stream. The reason that they're doing drive through attractions is because it's very easy to actually socially distance when you're in your own car, but it brings a lot of questions like, how is it possible? Are they gonna be able to scare you in your own car? Once if you slam on the gas or slam on the brakes, there's a lot of things. Hopefully we'll get some answers to those today and just generally see what it's gonna be like because I think it's a cool concept because it is super dark out, it's gonna be hard to see, but we've got flashlights. And I'm with Jackie. Hi. <laughs> that kind of rhymed, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> we are gonna start actually getting the grand tour of everything that they have to offer. This location alone is gonna have three different attractions. Obviously, it being an airboat attraction, they're going to have a haunted airboat attraction. Then they're going to have the drive through haunted attraction. And then also a kid-friendly trick-or-treat with the proper safety precautions. So I really think that this is going to be a very fun and amazing event. I'm very excited. While you're waiting to do your haunted attraction that you choose, they have a nice area set up where you're going to be able to just hang out. They're going to have a bar here and then some frightful entertainment. And it's just going to be a common area where you can actually just relax. The cool thing is when it comes to like drive through actual attractions, I've always remembered like during Christmas time, I would go to like Mayock Park and I would partake in a drive through attraction to look at all the lights that they had like the Christmas decorations and that's how they're kind of doing this here itself except for as you're driving through there's going to be different scenes that are going to you know hopefully scare you this area is a perfect place to actually have an entertainment as you can see it's kind of spooky already look at this it reminds you of like a little cabin on a swamp but this is going to be the entertainment stage Wow. It's starting to get a little bit dark out. Luckily, Lyle, who is the entertainment director, <laughs> is giving us the tour around because I wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah, it, it gets pretty dark back here. All of the attractions are actually going to be based off of a story. The actual drive through attraction is going to be based off of a drive-in like a movie drive-in storyline and i think that's an awesome concept because i don't know circle drive-ins and stuff like that mix that in with an actual haunted attraction that's good stuff they also are going to have dining options and the dining options are going to be some of your favorite haunted attraction food and when i say haunted attraction i mean halloween horror night food they're gonna have pizza fries they're gonna have twisted taters i think that's really cool and it's actually gonna be right here nice little spot we are gonna start our actual drive-through attraction well the mock attraction because we're just gonna get a sneak peek at it but for you to understand this is how you're actually going to enter into the drive-through attraction and you're going to come through here and it's going to be 
four cars at a time and underneath that white covered area there they're going to go over all the different rules and safety things and one of the most important things is is there's a three mile per hour speed limit which is going to give you plenty of time to be able to enjoy and actually see all the cool things that they have now that we're actually in the car you can hear kind of some creepy music which is actually themed to the drive itself so it's actually linked up to a radio station and you're going to be able to actually get a little bit scary inside the car as well outside the car you can roll down your windows if you like as long as you're wearing your mask and now we're going to start getting into some of the scenes but we're not going to show it all I'm not going to show any of it that actually spoils it for you and it's actually really creepy out here already <laughs> Look so at the road a, ahead. A car that's out of commission. Bar on the side of the road where you'll be offered a psychedelic beverage. I'm guessing you should say no to that. Probably. <laughs> oh, y'all trespassing. I see your car coming. Oh, I see. You got that pretty little toe. I bet you got the pretty little toe, too. <laughs> As you're actually driving along, you can see they have the up lighting on these trees, and it's just so awesome looking, isn't it? And one of the biggest things that we have to wonder is how do you know when to stop? Because it is basically on a red light and green light. So red for stop and that's when a scene is actually going to take place. And this is how they're going to control the flow of traffic. So people aren't running into each other. When you see red, you stop, you take part in the scene. And then when it lights green, you proceed to the next scene. We're going to show you what it looks like for a scene to take place. And we have some great performers. What are you doing in my ball? Oh, I see. I'm gonna show you what we do to trespassers around here. I see you've got some pretty little fingers and I bet you got some pretty little toes too. I'm gonna chop them off and I'm gonna feed them to my little baby alligators I got over there. That's right. And then I'm gonna chop off the rest of you and I'm gonna put it in a pot with some nice honey barbecue sauce. I'm gonna cook you for like 14 hours and it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna eat you some cornbread and some chili. Mm. I can't wait. Perfect. And to show you what the daytime trick-or-treating drive through is like, this is how they're actually going to safely supply candy to you in the vehicle without actually coming into the six feet mark. And watch this. How smart is this? So part of our, our aspect is we're going to have acrylic balls off-site that are pre-loaded with candy in a sanitized environment. Everybody's going to be wearing glass. Uh, gloves and masks whenever they do this and I've got some starburst for proof of concept but essentially <laughs> trick or treat trick or treat Whee! <laughs> <laughs> it just rains, candy just rains down on you kids are gonna love this it's socially distant it's safe like this is this is great <laughs> a <That's> starburst <laughs> The whole actual drive-through attraction is about 1.3 miles and it takes about 25 minutes in total and you pay actually by the car. So how many people are in the car, that's what you pay for. We're standing outside in one of the areas and they're doing some promotional footage and some different photos and we're lucky that we get to like see a little bit of it. Just taking a look at the actual track, well, the actual road that you're gonna be driving for the drive through experience and it is kind of creepy out here i like this tree <laughs> look at that a beautiful tree along the road itself there are going to be actual people out here directing traffic and making sure everyone's abating by all of the safety rules that are put in place just so we can prevent you know people slamming on their brakes or slamming on their gas stuff like that it's going to be maintained at three miles per hour and it's going to be observed and like we explained before with the whole red light green light system all of the scenes are going to take place at the red light when the cars are stopped so you're going to be well aware that something's about to happen when the light turns red and it's more or less more theatrical in all the different areas so it's very well planned and it's going to be very visionary and there's going to be great scenes i'm really excited for this 
now we are back out front. I was only able to show you what I could without spoiling anything, but the main thing I wanted to know is how they were gonna control the traffic and control people in their own cars. And we got that answer today. They're gonna to use the red and green light system along with some people that are gonna be manually directing traffic three miles per hour and they're only gonna let four cars in at certain points so it's actually gonna be very easy to make that happen and all of the scare scenes are gonna happen at the red light so the car is gonna be stopped when anyone approaches the vehicle now for the haunted airboat attraction that's gonna be more on a like nature side they're going to tell scary stories they're not going to have any scare actors you're going to see alligators obviously and it's just going to be a creepy experience but you can come out here take a nighttime haunted airboat ride or you can do a daytime kitty trick-or-treating and also the new drive-through haunted attraction i think that's fantastic anywho's that's going to do it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it. I'm very excited to be here and check it out and also check out all of the local haunted attractions here in Orlando just because I'm going to be so sad of missing Halloween Horror Nights. Got to fill that void somehow. Got to fill it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.